Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to use a graph to estimate the absolute maximum and minimum values to two decimal places. Now, the one thing you want to consider is this is probably something that you might want to use a graphing calculator for, simply because while there's plenty of functions for which you can find absolute max and min for whole numbers, there's going to be some times where you may have to estimate and have it guess to two decimal places. So here are some steps to help you get there. Now, on a TI, for example, or any appropriate graphing calculator, you definitely want to use the calc feature, which is actually stands for calculate. Now, depending on what you want to find, the maximum or minimum, what you want to think about is go to maximum or minimum after you select the uh, calc option. Now, from there, it's going to take you to the graph that you've already graphed on the calculator. And it may ask you for a left bound, okay? In other words, how far left you want to go. And then it's going to ask you for the right bound, how far right you want to go to find the maximum or minimum. And then after you select it, it's going to ask you, guess, do you want the calculator to guess? And generally you want to say yes. Now, you confirm all of these choices by pressing the enter button. So Basically, in a graphing calculator, to find the absolute max or min, you want to just follow these steps and you should be good to go. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to use a graph to find the absolute maximum or minimum and estimate to two decimal places.